Hello, pipe smokers. David Russell Mosley, the enchanted pipe smoker here. Coming to you on a gray and rather sullen Trinity Sunday uh, here in New Hampshire. I just wanted to make a, a short video because um, I got a couple of new things that I wanted to share with you all. Uh, and so, so the first of those is, I just got, and I, I would have done a proper unboxing of it, but I got it a couple of days ago, thought I was going to get to try it right away, and I didn't, it's a whole thing, but, I got a tin of Frogmorton Across the Pond, which of course has two beautiful uh, little images on it. So I've gotten here right now. Having a little trouble keeping it lit, but otherwise very much enjoying it. I've been a big fan of the Frogmorton brand. I got a few tins from Pipes and Cigars a while back and smoked my way through all of them. <laughs> and so finally got a new tin uh, the other day. I'm, I'm really liking this. It's so... Well, it's so hard to keep lit, but it's also so very smooth and mellow. Um, and unlike so many of you, I'm no real aficionado on these things, but I like this pipe tobacco. And I don't know if it's, what does it say? For those of you who haven't tried any of McClellan's uh, Frogmorton series, highly recommend it. Frogmorton Cellar, probably my favorite, though. So far, except again for the trouble I'm having keeping it lit, this is up there. Uh, but here's what it says in the tin. Frogmer Frogmorton journeyed far across the pond in search of the exotic components of this remarkably cool smoking... There you go. I hadn't read this yet. Delightfully fragrant top-grade Syrian Latakia blend. Now, I know my good friend Eric the Theobacchinus just did a... A video on his evolving tobacco tastes and how he's no longer in Latakia, so perhaps that makes me something of a neophyte uh, when it comes to tobacco, but I thoroughly enjoy this. And Eric, of course, feel free to comment and say nice things about me, because you're usually pretty good at that. Um, so anyway, I'm going to try and get this going again. So in addition to a new tin of pipe tobacco, which I really haven't gotten a new one in quite a while, I got something else. Now this is for my other hobby, uh, but I know that several of you out there share it as well, uh, and that is fountain pens. So what I got was this excellent little, this is a Twisby Echo piston filling fountain pen. So uh, I'll show it like a pipe. Look at this. Look at that grain. There's no grain. It's been plastic. But so this is um this is a very nice fountain pen in my estimation. Uh, as you can see, it's a clear acrylic, so that you can see how much ink you've got in it. It's a piston filling, and so essentially what that means is you twist the back here, and there's a little plunger that goes up and down. The nice thing about these kind of pens is that they're made specifically for ink. You can't put a cartridge in one of these, but what that means is you can typically put a lot more ink in them, unlike... I've got one of my other good pens here. This is my Monteverde Limonada. I take this apart, you can see it's got a... So this is what's called a cartridge converter, for those of you who don't know. Basically, you could put a cartridge in this, or you can put this in it, and this is like a little mini version of the entire body of this that you put the you can put the ink into by drawing it up with a little plunger. Um, in it, for anybody who's interested, I have uh, an ink called uh, Black Swan English Roses. It's put up by a company called Noodlers, who also make fine pens. I um, actually got one for Christmas from my mother-in-law, and then put it through the wash so it broke in half. That's good times. Uh, 
but that that brand of ink is um so they have another one that's been really popular lately called black swan australian rose it's this gorgeous shade of purple this is a little different um of course my pipe went out again this is a a much tamer purple um here's <laughs> Just for the, the fun of it, I... So this is a, a sheep styled off of the Sean the Sheep claymation show for kids in the UK. If you're familiar with it, great show. Good for kids. Uh, it's one of like the few things I can draw because it's very basic shapes. Um, but you get a sense of, of what the, the kind of color is um, on that pen. So anyway, uh, that's really all I had. Just wanted to show you the new tin of, of tobacco that I've picked up and am enjoying. Um, I definitely agree with the little description. It is smooth. It is cool. Uh, it is a very pleasant smoke. And my new pen. So that's all I've got for you guys today. Nothing big or deep, just some little things. Uh, so farewell, my friends, and when you sit in blessedness of your pipe, think of me.